My name is Rachel Armstrong and I am a senior lecturer at the University of Greenwich and I specialise in living architecture. One of the projects I'm working on is Persephone, which is the design and engineering of the living interior of a starship in Earth's orbit in 100 years' time. This is a world ship. In other words, it contains human inhabitants. And therefore, the interior of this space literally needs to be able to support these people for the duration of their journey. And that could be hundreds, potentially thousands of years. The architectures within this space, I think, will be grown from the bottom up using the soils. It is likely that the soils themselves will not be made inert like they are on Earth. So, for example, your bricks are, you know, interesting sandy soils that have been um, uh, congealed into and baked into, uh, you know, geometric um, shapes. But I would say that in Persephone, the, the culture would be to keep the liveliness of everything. So we will be extruding structures from soils. We will be moulding these soils into the kinds of environments that, that we wish to inhabit. It. So in some ways I can think of them being like the caves in Cappadocia, in, in Turkey. To think about how we might grow a city from the bottom up, from its soils, is the endeavour of Persephone. Although this may seem quite esoteric in terms of you know, space colonisation and it seems very out there, Persephone is essential for us right now that it asks this question about what survivability and sustainability is on our planet right now. The reason we'd want a dynamic city or a city that had these living properties is because actually the world in which our cities are situated is lively itself. Therefore, we actually confer some survival strategies and some forms of adaptation to our buildings and our surroundings. So they become like our extended physiology, so that they are trying to um, absorb pollutants and carbon dioxide. They're using them to create new aesthetic experiences. When we think of our Earth as being unstable, I think that to design for instability is, is a really powerful thing.